Welcome to One More Pen and today is something different. I'm in Johannesburg. Um, I'm attending a two-day workshop uh, slash strategic planning and I had to take an hour and a half flight to get here and so the obvious thing was you know which pens do I bring with me because you have to bring some pens with you. So I thought I'd share with you the ones that I brought with me and um, how they travel. Now I just arrived, I haven't opened them yet. I know the camera angle is awkward, It's I don't have a really great setup here. Um, but I'll show you what I did. So I've traveled with my pens before and what I have is this, it's a hard plastic um, pencil case. And I use this so that I know that no matter what happens on the flight, my pens will be protected. Um, of course, what I don't know and what I don't control is whether there will be any leakage. And that's sort of what I'm going to find out now. I brought three pens with me. I'm only here for two days, not even a full two days. So I didn't think I would need more of them. Um, I know the nature of the meeting and the workshop we're having there isn't going to be much writing it's more moving around very sort of active um, kind of meeting and workshop so there won't be a lot of writing i decided only to bring three pens i was planning to bring a fourth one in the end i did not i'll tell you which one so which pens made it and did they leak so now what i do with this oh there, there has been some leakage already i can show you that now i i do carry a ballpoint for crazy emergencies and what I do is I line this with tissue paper in case something like this happens so it will soak up the ink. I'm actually very surprised about this leak and so I already know which one this is. I brought with me my Jinhao Dadao 9019 and the lovely ink that you see there oh man that's not what I expected. I have to say this is the first time ever that I have a pen that leaked. Especially this much. This is serious leakage. Very surprised about this. And what I did before the time is I did fold it entirely. And so <laughs> the entire converter cartridge leaked out. And I have some more tissue paper here so that this whole thing leaked out so now it's the first time I traveled with this pen don't know what to expect but this pretty much means that this pen will not be traveling with me again in the future it's a bit of a disappointment uh, I'll have to clean this out but for now I'm just gonna put this aside yeah a little, little bit of a disappointment I was I really enjoy that pen though I mean um, and the ink that I had in there was can you tell Hiro Suzuku Yamabudo and I fold that converter completely so that it wouldn't link what else do I have two more pens this one the uh, Faber Castell grip um, that I got fairly recently and I do not believe we have any leakage here so interesting standard international cartridge nothing leaked perfect and I'm just looking inside the cap and just sort of feeling in there absolutely no leakage whatsoever so so that's definitely the, the Jinhao it's not you know something that happened in flight um, this pen, I, what I have in here, by the way, is Pelican 4001 Violet. It's a really nice ink to go with the pen. The pen is nice and juicy and wet, and so it's a very nice ink to use. So at least I have one pen that I know did not leak that I can use. And the third one is my Lomi Alex. The Lutherium LU version, I, I believe, and uh, it's got some ink on there. 
wonder if that I'm sure that'll just yeah it'll just it just wipes off did this pen leak at all I I believe it probably would not have leaked at all so we're opening it up it's clean I'm checking inside the cap nothing inside the cap no leakage whatsoever and I'm also using a converter in this one so it's very interesting so I've got two pins that did not leak at all and then I've got the Jinhao that completely <laughs> lost all its ink basically so no leakage in this one which is what I expected I, I've never actually had fountain pens leak at all this one has a it's not the nib that comes with a pen it's got a ooh, I wonder if we will get focus here this is not great 1.1 stub nib and the ink that I've got in here is Diamine Macassar, which is a really rich brown, really deep brown ink, which is fantastic on a stub nib. So at least I have two fountain pens that I can use. The fourth one that I was planning to bring along that I did not in the end is my Queveco Percaio. The, um, that would be the uh, transparent one, the essentially demonstrator model it's 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 not completely trans well it's not clear plastic it's transparent but it's not clear plastic it's got more of a frosted um, sort of finish on it it's a really excellent pen very wet writer and um, I was going to bring that one because it's a pen that I can I can really put any ink in there and it looks good because it's a demonstrator model so you don't have like a blue pen that you sort of feel you know the obsession to have a blue ink or anything like that I've got I've got ink everywhere now so well now I know for traveling sorry about the camera shaking but everything here is a little bit uneven um, at least I brought my mic so that I could do a quick video um, yeah so it's it's a pity about the gin oh, I didn't expect that I really thought and with the the capacity of that converter I'm surprised that everything leaked out um, yeah it's quite a pity but anyway I've got two pens that are good to go um, I arrived at my destination I'm really looking forward to using them the oh, by the way let me show you what I brought what, what I'm using to write in with this is the the journal that I'm using at the moment CD notebook and I think that's it's a pika and this this one is um, it's all blank on the inside I find these sort of hard to they're hard to find I, I, I struggle to find blank journals and then I brought a little a6 one that I can just jot down some notes in so that's my stationery for the week um, thanks for watching if you like my content please like and subscribe I appreciate your support as always now I'm going to have a cup of very Ooh, very questionable coffee very cheap plasticky coffee uh, no good quality filter coffee here at the moment um, I'm here in a little room by the way um, at least I've got my own space here so well guys thanks for watching I will see you soon keep well